Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to another botany circle. Today we're focusing on the types of seeds. There are only two types of seeds. And the way you decide which type of seed it is, is by how many cotyledons they have. Remember from last lesson, we talked about the cotyledon is the middle part of the seed, the part that the embryo has to consume to be able to grow. So if we look at it, here's the type of seeds right here. Notice the seed on the top only has one cotyledon. On the bottom, you can cut it in half and it has two parallel parts of cotyledons. The first part is called a monocotyledon seed. Mono means one. So if you look at the seed like this corn down here, looking at the corn, here, you can see it's only got one cotyledon, only one part that the, that the seed is going to um, consume. You can almost see at the top, that's where the embryo is going to pop out. On all of these, you can see the top part of it, because that's where the embryo is going to be. Now, these are small because they're dry. If it was succulent, still had their moisture, it would be much larger. You could see a lot easier. So if you have corn at your house, you should try to find some. That's an example of a monocotyledon seed. The next type of seed is called the dicotyledon seed. This is, di means two in Latin. Because this can be cut into two sides. If I sliced one in half, I would show two sides. One side would have the embryo. The embryo has two little leaves in it. That's also where the dye comes in, the number of cotyledons inside the seed. Lima beans or black beans or pinto beans, in this case. This is an example of a dye cotyledon seed. We can see the embryo would stick out right there where the little dot is. And if this was wet, um, it would be a lot easier to actually cut open. You can actually see inside of it. This one's dry. <laughs> well, we can see if I slice this right down the middle, I will be able to peel it apart and I'd see the embryo inside the seed. That's called dicotyledon because it has two leaves on the embryo and also it can be cut into two parts like this. So those are the two types of seeds. Repeat after me. Monocotyledon has only one cotyledon one seed embryo. Dicotyledon has two cotyledons, or two leaves on the seed embryo. And that's the two different types of seeds. So your work, you can make a drawing of each type of seed, the monocotyledon and the dicotyledon. You can see the little seed embryo inside of it. And here's a seed embryo inside the monocotyledon. It doesn't have the leaves. That's why this one is a little bit different. And of course, doing a little bit of writing about each seed would be your work. Okay? So, again, you can even taste test some of these foods at home. Have some beans, have some corn, have some rice, which is also part of the monocotyledon seed. So, have fun, and I'll see you next time.